signs, signs. Everywhere you go, there are signs. But just who's responsible for that stop sign in your neighborhood or that traffic signal in front of your community school? Let's head to the Kansas City, Missouri Public Works Department Municipal Services Center to get a look at where the magic happens. Every day, an ordinary piece of metal goes from this to this. The Public Works Department Signs and Markings section makes nearly 200 signs a day. The process starts when an employee creates a sign on the computer, then a special printer prints and cuts out the vinyl overlay. Next, the employee hand cuts another piece of vinyl overlay. Both pieces get pressed on top of the metal panel, and that's how we get many of our city signs. Ray Marcel is the area superintendent for the signs and markings section. We make all the signs used in the city right away of the city. Um, there's regulatory signs, there's warning signs, there are informational signs, um, and emergency sign type signs. We average 15 to 17,000 signs a year that we manufacture. This section also creates the street signs you use to navigate city streets. The signs are created with an added safety feature for nighttime driving. The retro reflectivity is the, in, the, in the sheeting itself. All night looks like the lights are on, on the sign. Once the sign is created, workers hammer it into the ground or attach it to poles at various locations throughout the city. With so many signs going out each day, approximately 15 to 17,000 a year, city staff stays very busy and they move fast when the situation is critical and citizen safety is at risk. We can replace a sign within two to four hours of being notified of it's missing or damaged. Properly signed streets keep citizens safe and alert, so it's important that the Public Works Department knows if signs are missing or damaged. You can help by calling 311 to report a sign issue. Take a look at this one. Some of these signs are really huge, but it's just a part of the effort the Public Works Department uses to keep our citizens safe on the city streets. As you can see, it's a big job. When you see one of these trucks passing through, you're seeing the city's public works employees in action. Painting the streets is also a task of the signs and markings section. Annually, city crews paint and repaint all pavement markings, including double yellow, white skip, edge line, crosswalk, stop bar, and arrows. Can you tell us a little bit about the truck and the machines that we are using to paint all these city streets? Okay. This is a highway striper. It holds 400 gallons of yellow and 400 gallons of white has a, a thousand pound bead capacity and we're able to stripe for an eight hours day well for one load. We are able with this one truck to get 70% of the city painted in a year. With 6,400 lane miles of city streets to mark, this is one critical piece of equipment. Three Public Works employees ride in the truck during operation. There are two in the back and the driver up front. There's also a backup truck that follows the striper at a distance to keep vehicles away from the fresh paint. Traffic signals are also designed, installed, and maintained by the Public Works Department staff at the Municipal Services Center. In fact, the department currently maintains about 600 signals annually. The Public Works Department values and needs citizen input about neighborhood traffic issues and we're here to help make sure your traffic signals, signs, and street markings are in working order. If you have a street sign or traffic signal issue, the best way to get the city on the case is to call 311 and report the problem. Until next time, I'm Katrina Parker with the City of Kansas City, Missouri's Public Works Department.